welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I'm doing my August book haul. This may be a part one, this may be a part none, well not part none, but like just the one video. I haven't decided yet. But I just wanted to film this really quick because I'm actually, I don't know if like, I know it's like around the world right now, not around the world, but around the United States at least, with the ice bucket challenge to for a shout out to Strike Out ALS. And I'm doing that as soon as my dad comes home, so I'm doing this now before I'm sopping wet with cold ice water. Um, so I went shopping the other day. It was like Friday. I was in a really bad mood, so I went to the library to buy some books. And I got five, so I'm going to share them with you. So the first book you've already seen if you saw my last weekend reading news, and that is On the Island by Tracy, Tracy Garvis Graves. One of those books that's been popular on YouTube for a while, and I finally decided to give it a shot. So if you want to see more about this, then you should go check out my last weekend reading news. Then, you know me, <gasps> Nicholas Sparks, big surprise. This is a message in a bottle. I don't really know what it's about, but it's Nicholas Sparks, and I'm collecting all of his books. So that was really exciting to find this. Um, as well as... Um, Night in, Nights in Rodanth, or Rodanthe, I don't actually know. Um, this is also by Nicholas Sparks. This is actually also a movie. I haven't seen the movie, but I don't know. This looks short and cute, and I'm excited. Then the last two books I got are kind of like, I have no idea what they're about whatsoever. But I got, um, Little Children by Tom Proda. I have no idea what this is about, but this is just, like, the cutest cover. Like, look at these little goldfish. I just want to eat them. I don't actually have any idea what this book is about. I think it's just, like, one of those, like, typical, like, neighborhoods, but it's not that typical. There's, like, the drama that's there. I don't know. It just looked really cool, so I bought it. <laughs> Can't beat a dollar sometimes. And then the last book is kind of a book that's kind of out of my comfort zone. And it's kind of in a genre that I don't typically read usually. And it's kind of scary. And that is House by Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. I've actually read a Ted Decker book before. And it wasn't that scary. But this just looks so creepy. The only way out is in. It just looks really scary. Like, look at the back. That looks really nerve-wracking. I'm scared. Uh, I might save this book to read in October because it's, like, Halloween and it looks like it would be good to read in the scary times. I thought it would be pretty, but it's actually not that unique. Um, but, yeah, usually Ted Decker kind of has a religion aspect to it. Like, there's some Christianity in it, I'm assuming, because that's what he had with his last one. Um, and it's really interesting because I went to go look this up and literally it's got like five reviews and like a couple like star ratings. So it's really an underrated book, I'm assuming, because it came out in like 2006, I want to say. So it should be interesting to check this out as well. So that is my book haul, short but sweet, but I hope you enjoyed. If you know anything about any of those books, let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video, and I'm going to go ice myself now. See ya.